Introduced to the world on September 1, 1980, the R80GS was a groundbreaking machine. It featured a powerful and refined two-cylinder boxer engine with a generous 800cc displacement and enough space to carry two people with luggage. The single-sided swing arm was a first on any production enduro. It was the largest, the fastest, and the lightest bike in the enduro class. BMW's press release called it the most convincing two-in-one motorcycle to date, noting that it was built as the ultimate leisure time instrument for every situation. Motorod called it the best street motorcycle BMW ever built. The archetypal adventure motorcycle, the BMW R80 GS, was eminently suited for long distance travel under a variety of conditions. While the press was generally convinced about the bike's off-road capabilities, others were eager to see how it would perform in a real race. They got their chance when BMW entered the infamous Paris to Dakar rally. In a race where most bikes don't even finish, BMW's reliability and performance set the bar in 1981. The company not only had the highest percentage of finishing motorcycles, but in the hands of Hubert Oriol, also won first place by a full three hours with a BMW R80 GS. After the Paris Dakar, there was no doubt that the GS was as capable off the road as it was on the road. With its 800cc engine, drive shaft, and single swinging arm, the R80 GS quickly became the ideal motorcycle for global vagabonding, and it opened up a new previously untapped market, adventure touring. Motorcycle adventure touring were probably born with the motorcycles. You know, it's about exploring new territories, heading out in one direction and see where you come, and with a bike, the road doesn't need to be perfect. In 1982, Helge Peterson left his home in Norway and rode into the history books. His two-wheeled companion was an R80 GS named Olga. I think it first hit me that I was on a journey when I arrived in Africa. Now I know I had left the known behind me and ahead of me, it was just the unknown. What started out as a dream to see Africa turned into a 10-year odyssey around the world through more than 80 countries. Along the way, Helge Peterson became the first motorcyclist to ride the length of the Pan American Highway through the infamous Darien Gap. The Pan American Highway have a missing link of 80 miles, and I chose to take the bike to it. I thought it was going to be easier. We were following Indian tracks, I had 40 yards of rope and pulleys, and to get through, I had to pull them up the hills and down deep, steep embankments of the rivers. I fell over with my motorcycle. I broke my my wrist or my uh, bone in a wrist here. Later, I broke my rib. It took us 20 days to go those 80 miles. Probably the hardest I ever done in my life. When his journey ended in 1992. The R80 GS that had taken him around the world found a home at the BMW Museum in Munich, and Helge Peterson rode away on a new BMW R1100 GS.